Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk about new life. It fascinates me, the Christian life, and I think it's one of the um, one of the most amazing things about the Christian faith. So I was looking for a thumbnail picture and um, I actually titled my message New Life, but I came across this thumbnail which old life and new life and I thought it kind of represents the with me and many other people I know that they had an old life and then they had a new life and uh, it never fails to amaze me how God can change a sinner and someone who's going in totally the wrong direction so um, let's have a look at some, some scripture and uh, 2 Corinthians uh, uh, Verse, sorry, chapter 5 verse 17 says therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation old things have passed away behold all things have become new and that is so true of the Christian life I was um, 25 plus years ago I, I didn't believe um, I, I admit there was a period before I got born again when I, where I started to think about the Christian life but um, I was brought up in a Christian family but then I just couldn't see I, did, I just didn't follow the Christian life and uh, I, I, I took my own path uh, but to, what amazes me I was kind of ha had a period in my life where I was anti-Christian just didn't want anything to do with it but what amazes me is when the Spirit of God comes upon us it changes us and as an unbeliever I just thought you know it's absolute rubbish all of these Christians talking about the Spirit led me to do this and God's told me this and that but I couldn't see and um, as we see in John 3 um, a great scripture about Nicodemus and he's talking about the new birth Jesus answered and said to him most assuredly I say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God so we've got all these people sort of in the, in the Church of England who want to make different rules and like with me I, I would be up for making new rules but before I was a Christian I, I thought well why not you know why not have a place where Muslims everyone can meet Christians and they can all be happy and and talk about their religion but the problem was I couldn't see I, I couldn't see the kingdom of God because I hadn't been born again but when I got born again I I started to see the spirit move and I started to see the kingdom of God and my my life and my thought pattern was transformed so I went from stinking thinking to godly thinking and it's uh, such a different experience and such a pleasurable experience and it kind of it really kind of blows my mind how God changes things and how we see things in a totally different way I often think about um, I don't know if any of you have read the book Run Baby Run by Nicky Cruz or Cruz I don't know if you, uh, how you say his name but a uh, great evangelist um, I follow, follow him on Twitter and amazing how David Wilkinson the late um, late uh, preacher who had uh, Times Square Church in New York? He he went out to reach out to the gangs in New York, and uh, Nicky Cruz got uh, got born again. It's, it's a great book, Run Baby Run, if you want to want to read it. It's got quite an old book now, but it's still the, the message is still the same, and it's great what God can do with someone who gets born again. And there's there's a couple more books. One of them was called One Holy Fire, uh, which I have, and I believe there's another one. But gr great books. And then we've got people like Todd White, um, totally transformed. Um, by Jesus and it, it is absolutely amazing if you look at um, Psalm 147 uh, verse 3 um, it says he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds no I wouldn't say I was particularly broken hearted uh, before I was born again but so, some people are and God can heal uh, um, the broken hearted and he can bind up their wounds and it's such a wonderful thing and then we come to Psalm 34, um, verse 18. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. Amazing words. And uh, it's just amazing what God can do. And then the final scripture is in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 
in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths now, i know that it's quite a famous scripture but it's it is so true and it's it's worth looking at now maybe you're sitting on the fence and think you know what's all this christian uh, thing about like i was and it, it took me a couple of years before i um, got back to church after not being in church for many years but maybe you're kind of sitting on the fence what's it all about and you're thinking about it well here i've got a prayer um called the sinner's prayer and if you genuinely say this and you genuinely believe it it will be the, the born again spirit which i talked about here jesus answered said to most assuredly i say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god so the spirit of god will come and live inside you and it will lead you into truths so if you genuinely believe in god so if you'd like to say this prayer after me which goes dear lord jesus i acknowledge you as lord and savior of my life i repent of all my sins and i ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life amen so if you said that prayer and you meant it it means you have been born again and i always suggest to people um to get in the church um, a good church a strong church that preaches the bible um, there's lots of uh, things you can use online i use uh, the, um, this bible gateway which is great uh, on a web page there is also an app which you can have on your phone there's many other apps which which are free and many resources that you can use to grow your christian faith i also suggest that you get in a small group and uh, i i did and helped me to move forward uh, quicker get around strong people you want to be around strong people of god who are going to move you forward in your kingdom walk so if you have any questions on this and, and um if you if you um if you'd like to leave a comment or anything uh please feel free to leave it in the comments area i'm i'm here to try and help and to answer your questions thanks very much for watching